So Spiral Q is a nonprofit that is centered around joy and justice, believing that we can't really access joy if our communities don't have the things that we need. Right now, we are working on our 23rd annual Peoplehood Parade and Pageant. We collaborate with activists and community groups in open art builds hosted here at our West Philadelphia studio, where we create puppets, banners, signs, and props that our community groups can use in the future, as well as on Peoplehood Parade Day. And it brings people who have been siloed into their work. And for at least a month or two while we're doing the art builds and during the parade and the pageant, like all of those communities come together. I don't see where that happens in too many places. We all know each other, you know, but peoplehood is a thread that connects us all and we march together. You know, I came in and I saw everybody and what was going on here and I fell in love and I was like, I just want to help them make art. It really just feels like we pull so many regular Philadelphians into this annual celebration. It's my favorite holiday in West Philadelphia. We think that peoplehood is also kind of a critical resource because art making as adults too, we don't get to access our creativity. And protest art is really, really important because it helps to capture the eyes of the outside community. You know, growing up as a male, especially a black male, like your artistic nature is not nurtured. Coming here, I was like, I'm not good at art. I can't do art. Like, I just suck at it. And the very first thing I did was pay for Miche some houses. And I was so proud of myself. It's a moment where like organizers can really be seen by a really large community base, not just at a rally, not just at a protest or, or something that's built out of like demands. Currently, there is a siege happening in Gaza. What I'm considering is what can I do this year to attach, you know, artistically to the community to show that the fight of the working class, the fight of the dispossessed, it's intertangled. Being able to come here when we have needs, we've made several of our banners here at Spiral Q. Every peoplehood, we make a new one. We are here at Peoplehood Day, October 28th, here at 50th and Walnuts at Wilson House and Museum, also connected to the West Philadelphia Cultural Alliance, who has hosted us here for 23 years. This year, the themes that we popped up when we were talking to community members and internally uh, were around protection and celebration. Who does anything for 23 years and does it with the excellence that this organization does it? So let's let's give it up again. 23 years for people who have raised. Happy, happy peoplehood. Happy, happy There's Iglesias Garden that often joins us. You see townhomes that are in West Philadelphia. The Meadows folks are here from FDR. No arena in Chinatown. Act Up doesn't march through West Philly, have pageants in Clark Park. If it wasn't for, for peoplehood happening, we would not reach three quarters of the people that we reach through peoplehood. I'm here representing Save the Meadows. We're going to be handing out bats and butterflies that represent what we stand to lose if parks and the city develop our one urban woodland and meadows in South Philadelphia. One of our artists said that the parade is like the bread, right? We need the bread to feed us and the pageant is our roses, a time to celebrate, to recognize the abundance of our communities and even the natural land that we're on. So it's a moment for all that hard work and all the folks that are involved throughout the year to be celebrated. These rivers and streams were already used as highways, great roads of connection to the rightful stewards of this land. You know, 76ers pay for me. It's legit, right? Oh, come on. They have a whole 900 page plan that will, in essence, make being anybody in the LGBTQ community a sex offender.
studio space that we can use. It's not just about making art in a studio for people hood. It's about what's next. And usually after people hood day, people are like, what's next? We, want, we have an idea for a screen print. We have an idea for a banner. Can we use this puppet again? And I think that being able to see something that is multiple people coming together for shared experience of joy, for a parade that isn't to acknowledge a national holiday, that's just celebrating like us as people. It just feels like such a special thing. So like just passing it by, maybe it brightening someone's day for even just a little bit is all I can ask for, honestly. Barbecue has been this place that I can come to and no matter what is going on, in my life, no matter what the turmoil is, when I'm here, the vibe, the energy, it's just, it, it's healing. For the trans people who are being targeted, for the trans children who are being targeted, for the black people that are being targeted, like, to see these groups come together for the purpose of you having a place to show joy right in their faces and to do it with the love and the care that peoplehood does, I will forever and eternally be grateful for them.